Hello, my name is Mark Sinesk. I'm Senior Application Engineer with Silent Design Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an odd-shaped orthophoto mosaic to your Autodesk InfoWorks model and to clean it up so it matches your site. Now, it's very common to capture additional data for your InfraWorks model using aerial drone capture and orthophotography. And as part of that process of creating your surface data from drone capture, you also get an orthophoto mosaic of the site. And we can add that to our InfraWorks model to add some higher definition and imagery as our background. But part of the problem is, is a lot of these processes make an odd shape TIFF file. And when you bring that into InfoWorks, um, you're going to end up with some, some edge areas. It's trying to make sure it's a rectangular shape. Uh, and you're going to end up with some, uh, some black areas, uh, that are just going to overlay your, um, existing imagery. In this case, I have the Bing mapping background and it's not going to look very good. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, quickly fix that. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, ortho mosaic. Um, I'll come down here and add a raster. Um, this is the TIFF file I'm going to add. It's, it's a little bit large. Um, so as I open it, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit my configuration and um, just check my coordinate system, make sure everything looks good, close and refresh. And uh, this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video uh, while it runs, and I will unpause it again as we get closer. So please stand by. Okay, and we're back, and we're only a few seconds away. Um, it's just about finished processing, and here we go. It's going to bring that image in. So you can see we got some very nice high-definition uh, uh, photography from that drone capture, but as I said, it's an odd-shaped piece, and you can see the edges where it's trying to match. It needs to make that rectangular area because of the nature of a TIFF file. So what we can do is we can clean that up um, in our configuration and uh, we'll get a nice match line here. So we're going to go ahead and highlight our ground imagery again. We're going to go back to the reconfiguration and in the raster tab, you'll see uh, amongst all the different subjects here, you'll see one that says color mask and right now it's empty. And we're going to go ahead and click on our button to the right with the three dots, and we can pick a color that we want to mask out. Uh, in this case, black, pure black is what we want here. Um, if it was another color, you can use the pick screen color and pick what you want. In this case, um, it is a pure black background mask, so I'm going to leave that and click OK. And then once again, I'm going to close and refresh like I did the first time. And it's going to reprocess that image. So uh, reprocess that image. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video one more time here uh, while it finishes processing. And we'll be back when it's closer to being finished. And we're back. Uh, and once again, it's just about finished processing. And here it is. And you can see using that color masking, we've cleaned up the edges and gotten a nice um, high resolution um, ortho photo mosaic from the drone photography um, that we can add to our InfoWorks models and has cleaned up the edges nicely so it mat matches up um, with the existing background main imagery. So that's it. Um, you can add any other images as you need to in a similar fashion. Uh, you can use this masking technique for other images other than aerial photography um, as you need. Maybe you have some some annotation you want to put in. Um, you can bring those in as images, manually place them, and mask out the areas that you don't want. Uh, lots of possibilities are available to you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me direct at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to our blog uh, for more tips, tricks, and information uh, at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog. And I hope this video has been helpful to you, and have a great day. Thank you very much.